Independence Era, school officials say they are taking this very seriously and they've even hired an outside investigative firm to look into these allegations. But students, on the other hand, feels like the university doesn't have their backs. Central Connecticut State University students, current and former, marched around campus, making their voices heard loud and clear. Two, four, six, eight, Central needs to stop the rape. They chanted in front of the administration building. Justice! And then to the university police department. I feel for them and them not being heard from like what I'm hearing is just it it hurts. It hurts hearing that and I want to be able to be the person that hears people out. Victoria Prusacic, one of many joining the fight, taking a stand against sexual assault and rape. She tells Fox 61 the allegations sparked concern among the campus community and wants university officials to take action immediately. Cases take place, nothing happens, nothing ever does. Nothing ever does. It's insane. It's actually insane. CCSU alumni Christopher Duke says it is not the first time the university has swept similar cases under the rug. This has been going on for decades, and CCSU has a history. It's in court records that they have covered up sexual assaults. But the university's chief operating officer says the students' safety are a top priority. We've put things on campus with the blue phone system so that if someone's concerned at night, they can hit a system, uh, live safe on campus. So we're doing everything that we think is appropriate to try to support our students and protect them. CCSU President Zulma Toro issued an additional statement saying, quote, this university does not and will not tolerate any type of sexual misconduct or bullying. The university did also add if any student wants to report an incident, they can go to the university police department or visit the Office of Equity and Inclusion. I'm live in New Britain, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.